So what is your purpose in coming here? Oh, well, I know a lot of people on the internet, Facebook. Oh, shush. Facebook is my church. So I know a lot of people on Facebook. And so we do all sorts of things with them. Do you want to get that, Bev? Okay, it'll stop eventually. Yes. <laughs> so I meet a lot of people on Facebook. I, I was originally here in 2010. I came three years ago. I flew into Florida, went to Colorado, Los Angeles, then back to Minnesota. That was in 2010. And so that's what I'm basically going around to these up. people. I'm going around to these different people that I know, and we're doing the, some preaching and teaching. And in Detroit, we're also doing some feeding of the homeless and the, and the street people, as well as visiting a place where they for children who are recovering from trauma, particularly the trauma of seeing one or, one or both of their parents being killed. And we're going to give them little bags of wow, little gifts, that's like colouring in pencils and things mm -hmm. like that. And we know that Detroit's one on the place because we've had such a hard time getting there. All sorts of things have popped up. It's a very, I know it's a very dark place. And the, my, the lady who was to be my host, she has had all sorts of trouble since since we decided to get going there. So do you think the Lord's telling you something? I reckon, well, we think it's old hairy legs trying to stop us going. Well, it could be too. Yeah. Maybe the Lord has a mes uh, mes message for you too. Yeah. Well, there's so much confusion around it that, it, that it's more than, more than likely that it's Satan. Because where God is, where God is involved, there's always clarity. And so she's had this, my main host, their main person that I was, she's had all sorts of people renege on promises that have been made to her. And so we've had to sort out new accommodation, which came up within 24 hours of asking. So I'm now staying with a family on the outskirts of Detroit, nearby to where my friend is living. And uh, my friend has gone through all sorts of hassle since then. So I mean, she's been threatened with eviction from her house. Mm. And uh, they've now delayed that for about a week. So she needs a lot of prayer. She also needs prayer in getting to kind of find work as well. So she's been going through. So we're pretty sure that the, a valley of her own. Mm -hmm. So we're pretty sure that Satan's interfering as much as he can. He knows his time is limited. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I'm going off down to do some preaching in Ohio then Tennessee, and then finally Mississippi. We're going to do things like this in, friend down in Mississippi, we're going to do things like this in their house. As well as I'm running a WOW church, which is basically church on a TV, using my laptop. So you don't have a group that meet together at all, it's just all on TV? Yeah, all online. Or on the, online yeah. uh, except on, on the Thursdays, back home, I run what's called a WOW church for all the Christians in town, mostly only people from my own church. 200,000 town, uh, right? Well, this town is only about 20,000. Oh. But it's essentially it's for all the church Christians in town every Thursday lunchtime. We can edit, don't worry. If you've got a delivery, Bev. Oh, it's a baby. It's a baby. Baby. Yeah. You want? What? You want people to come to live? You should have dogs with me. <laughs> Turn that off. Okay, he was telling We're us putting all this online later, so we hope you don't mind. On, no. on the internet. It'll be on the. Uh, so where were we? Oh, we were talking about Facebook. Well, our church in this little town. So I mean, I we meet up once every Thursday at lunchtime, and we just do something together. That's, as I said, it's normally for all the Christians in the town, but any people from our church really turn up. It's all supposed to be part of the Churches Together movement, but they're really only together in name. So this did a... But you're available, so if somebody yep. comes, why exactly. they're included. So yep, they're exactly. yep. Yeah. But I, but I also started taking that into people's homes, particularly those who can't get out. So if they're housebound, how else can they do church if no one turns up? 
that was hidden in hospitals as well. Right. Yeah. So it, it's transportable. So you're trying to create a community? Well, not really, but I mean, they're all part of the community anyway. Well, yeah, I mean, trying to get more involved in yep. the community. Can you get through there? Oh. Well, the church needs to be involved in the community anyway. Oh, yeah. But and most of the time they're stuck within the four, and four walls, so they need a, a good kick. Dave, there's this thing on there. Is that okay? What is that doing? Uh, that's right. Oh, okay. shoot you. All right. 